Hi there, it's Lori from Mollipop Paper and Ink. Thanks so much for joining me today. Today I have the second sneak peek of, from the brand new upcoming, it will be released uh, next Tuesday on August 3rd, the uh, July to December mini catalog. And along with that, for the first two months, um, August and September, we will be having the celebration event also. And what that means is that for any $50 purchase, whether it's here from this catalog or from the pretty new um, annual catalog that was just released in May, um, you get to choose a free item. And there's $50 reward level items and there's $100 reward level items. And I can't show you the inside, but um, this little brochure is filled with uh, really cute, really cute project or products that you can get for free. So today I would like to uh, do, I'm hoping to do two projects and we're using this Christmas to Remember stamp set bundle. Now, um, we, I did use the sentiments from this from my post and my video yesterday along with the Christmas season DSP, uh, excuse me, stamp set. And um, that's because this one has beautiful images, this one has beautiful sentiments. Um, they both have beautiful dies, as you can see here. This was from yesterday's project, uh, the Christmas, uh, these are called the Christmas label dies. So, and you can, if you remember, if you saw yesterday's uh, project video, I did uh, go crazy a little with my labels because I know I'm going to be using them on just about everything. So today, the um, best part of this set is that, look at these dies. These are called the Christmas pine cone dies. And look at these gorgeous, huge um, dies. And that's what we're gonna work with today. And then you have your little pine cone dies also. So um, let's get busy. I wanted to start with um, one project that is, um, we're gonna have to do a little bit of die cutting. And um, so hopefully I'll be able to speed up the um, the video for you so that's not going to be so much of a um, of a tiresome activity watching that so this is the one that I wanted to make first and this one is using both uh, it's using both the, of these dies this is the more intricate one if you can see that it's better to see it here and then this is the back layer but you'll see on my second card that you don't you can use this for both layers or, or just by itself you you could only just use one layer so i want to show you how i did that to get this um, beautiful effect um, the projects and the um the products are not on my blog because they're not available yet so they'll i'll add those on as soon as i um, as soon as we start to get going with the new catalog so it's very little stamping on this one, so I wanna be able to just do the die cutting. And what I'm using is, um, my, my card base is very vanilla. And I felt like that was a, a better choice to add my, uh, this is a shimmery white cardstock. I felt the white was too too bold and the, um, the very vanilla didn't, didn't bring out the shimmery white. So on my top layer here, I have that in the shimmery white. So that's what this layer is here. This is my, um, this is my, let's see here. What, oh, okay. So this is my uh, layer that I'm going to just layer it here as my backdrop. So what I'm gonna do, first I'll do the background and that is with the, just with the gold foil. So let me bring up the Big Boss and do some die cutting. Okay, so here I have my gold foil and I'm just going to release that from the die and just play with it a little bit to um, just to manipulate it a little so that it, it comes out. And you can see how pretty that is. Okay, that's it for that one. So now I'm going to take the intricate one, and this one I will use um, the shimmery white cardstock, and I'm going to place that in here. Now I did run this through twice back and forth, and I'll probably do the same for, um, for this one. Okay, so let's pull this one out. Now this one is a little bit more intricate, but it's going to pop out 
beautifully. And on our second project, I'll show you, we're gonna be using um, a celebration item, which is DSP, a specialty paper, actually. And um, that is a little bit more difficult to work. It's not more difficult, I shouldn't say that. It just takes a little bit longer and just a little bit more patience that you need. But you can see, if you just wiggle these, they're gonna come right out. And that's really all you need. You will just want it to pop. Use your nail, use your take your pick tool, whatever. And we're going to um, just use that as it is. I have a few here that I can just pop through, but this shimmery white paper works really, really nice. Okay, so what you could do is you could, if you wanted to, use for this, uh, for the shimmery white, you could have used um, adhesive, uh, the adhesive sheets. I probably would do that in the, um, my, for my next project. And let me see, I see a few here that just need to get popped out. Okay. All right, so I'm going to want to, and I try not to handle the foil too much because you, you do end up getting some um, prints on there, some fingerprints, or your, and your fingers get all mushy. So what I'm gonna do here is, you have several ways of doing this. Um, you could just use your liquid glue and uh, use a sponge dauber and just pat the back if you're not using the adhesive sheets. Or I think for this project, I'm just gonna put a few blue dots um, here, just where you can't really see them. And that should be fine. I'll just kind of do the, the ends. But um, if I had more time, I would just go ahead and use the glue dots. I mean, um, use the liquid glue. All right, I think this will be fine. Okay, so I'm just gonna put this on here and you can tell which way you're going because it, it will match up. So I base it on this um, horizontal pine cone leaf that's coming out that way. So that's why I know I wanna, I wanna put that guy right up on there. And I'm just gonna put him just there, just on my, it's just a few. You could put, you know, your tape, your um, seal, but I like the movement that this gives by not using the adhesive sheets or by not using the um, the the uh, seal. So I'm gonna just put this onto my layer here, give it a little pop, and this I can use my adhesive. It's not gonna go anywhere. Okay, so this is gonna go up here. I like this up on top. And just going to place that right there. And that really just gives it all of the pop that it really needs. So I'm going to put this on here. I wanna add a little bit of our new um, gold ribbon, gold shimmer ribbon. And I can do that right here. This goes on first. Okay. And so what I did was I, um, to pull out the gold foil and the, um, what I did was I just put, I did uh, heat emboss this when I was um, prepping. And I also um, took a piece of the very vanilla and a piece of the, sh of the shimmery white and I um, die cut one of those really little pine cones just for a little accent to my sentiment tag. Oops, I put it on the wrong way. All right, I'll just put this over here. Okay. And I may have added a little um, Wink of Stella on that too. So let me just put a little bit of this ribbon. Now look how beautiful this is for the holidays. This is just called the um, shimmer Gold Shimmer Ribbon. And I'm just gonna put a little piece going right through the center. 
and I can either use glue dots or I can just run a little bit of the seal here. It really doesn't matter which side. Okay, let's get that sort of, I, I like it a little below the middle. Um, I just tend to do things in the lower third. All right, and now my, my um, sentiment is just gonna go right here, and I'm not gonna use dimensionals on this yet. I want to keep this pretty flat because I want my little um, pine cone to pop out. So I'm gonna put that there. Have my, I, I embossed this with the um, gold Stampin' Emboss powder. And then this I'm just going to pop up with a dimensional. And one should do it. And then like I said, I probably would take um, a little bit of the uh, Wink of Stella, just to give that a little bit, a little bit of shine. But, so okay, that's what I wanted to show you how to do that one. Now let's do another one where we're going to be using this beautiful, shimmer paper that is from the um from the new catalog okay so let me just clear off my desk and then we're going to start with that one okay so for this next project um i wanted to just show you this gorgeous celebration item it is called be dazzling six by six specialty paper and let's see how many sheets you get eight sheets it's the same um, with each one there's no design it's uh, not double-sided but it's very thick and um, very shiny, as you can see. So I wanted to use this on the project, but I wanted to use um, my dies here. So this, this particular one, the, um, the one that is the intricate one. So let's, uh, let's start. I'm gonna be using the Evening Evergreen, and I can just layer this up. Now for this one, I'm taking a piece of uh, the Evening Evergreen and I'm going to run through uh, the Big Boss with this, the intricate die, because I want this to be my back, um, my backdrop one. Okay, so again, I ran this through and this is the intricate die. So I just really want to kind of push and pull Gently release it from the back drop. And I just have just a few here that um, we need to take out. Okay. Now you could have, I could have used the, um, the larger uh, piece for the back, for the back piece, but I just wanted to see how this would look to have two of the intricate layers together. So here's the tricky part. When I used this um, to try to get through this, this is, you, you have to be patient. You have to um, give yourself, I don't know, three or four tries uh, through, runs through the big boss. And what I found is that it worked better if I had my, my um, die face up. So the cutting, plate, the cutting areas were faced up and then I faced my um, be dazzling uh, glitter paper down and it still did take a few um, it, t it did take a few runs through but it's definitely worth it because this is what you come up with and the same thing I did the same thing with the other ones where I just kind of you know manipulated it and released it from the background and um, you get this beautiful beautiful die uh, uh, die cut so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to use the uh, liquid glue method. Where did I do with that? All right, I keep my um, I keep an old silicone pad and I keep this old sponge that I just clipped together just so that I could hold it. Um, it's easier for for handling, and I'm just going to take a little bit of my liquid glue and put it right there on the side maybe a little more 
and take my sponge and just do a little pouncing. And then when I bring it over here, place these together where I want, but I, I want this on top. So I'm going to just pounce it here. And if I need a little more, I can take more. And it is pretty fragile, so just be careful. Once you dry, your, your glue dries, um, you might have a little bit more of a hard time picking it up. But as long as um, you do it quickly, you should be fine. Okay, whoops. So let me just put this best I can right on top. I just wanted a little bit of an outline, but I wanted that evening evergreen to pop from behind there. And see how pretty that looks. Very happy with that. And then I'm just going to put that on here and I'll do the same thing, a little bit extra, um, a little more glue. Whoops, this is my good mat. I don't usually do that. So then let's put this on here. And well, that's the beauty of these mats is that it will dry and I'll just use my finger to roll it right off. Okay, so let's put this on here. I like that. And you can spread it out as best you want. Okay. Now, I'm going to take um, a little bit of this Evening Evergreen ribbon. This is the, cross, the Chevron Weave ribbon. And I'm just going to add a little bit to the back, just for a little bit of a... Um, just a little contrast, something for the uh, sentiment to sit on, the sentiment tag. And I'll just put a little bit of adhesive on the back here. And I'll check, make sure I'm pretty centered. Okay. And then this can go on here. And then we'll get a sentiment together. And I'm gonna be using one of my beautiful tags from the Christmas season bundle. Um, and what was, that, what was that called again? I forget. Oh, those are the seasonal label dies. And I went ahead and made a whole bunch of them because I know I'll be using them over and over and over again. Okay, so let's see. For here, I had a, um, thought I had a, uh, a little tag, but let me go into my little dish here. And I'm gonna just do a little bit of stamping here, and I'm gonna take, again, this is the set that has the um, beautiful sentiments. The other one has the beautiful images. So let me use my Evening Evergreen. I'm just gonna stamp this. This was just on Whisper White, uh, excuse me, Basic White, because that's what my background was. And I'm just going to place this right in the center This, this is the fonts here are just beautiful. I love the, the mixed fonts. And now what I did here, I took the same die and I just uh, cropped out from, uh, I cropped out the label from a, a piece of Evening Evergreen. And I'm just going to slice that right in the middle. Doesn't even have to be exact because um, it's going to go on the side here. And it's just giving this just a little bit of extension, a little bit of color behind it. So which way is this going? It's going this way. Is that right? Yep. Oh, no, I did it the wrong way. All right, let's not take a chance, and we'll do it this way so I can't mess it up. Okay, that looks pretty even. And then this is just gonna go on with some dimensionals and we'll call it a day. And um, so this, like I said, this paper is called Bedazzling. It's six by six. It's in the celebration catalog, which means you can earn it. You can't buy it, but um, I should say that it is already 
being noted that there are some of the celebration items, um, I don't know all of them, but I do know that this is one of them. And uh, everyone has gotten notice that the sale, this particular one, this uh, Be Dazzling paper, is only while supp supplies last. So because the celebration is a, um, a limited time, it's only two months instead of three, once this is gone, they will <coughs> excuse me, they will not reorder it. They will not restock it and they're not going to uh, it won't be on back order or anything like that. So, if you love it and I'm sure you will, um you should m just make sure this is one of your first celebration items to um to pick up. There's lots of there's DSP a lot of DSP packs in there this year and uh stamp sets and this is just going to this one here is just going to be um gonna go like lightning so <clears throat> so I hope you like my two projects today again it's with the Christmas to remember bum bundle and it's with the beautiful dyes and the beautiful sentiments again if you're watching this on YouTube I would love for you to subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss any of the um, upcoming videos I will have one for the rest of the week up until the catalog goes live with all sneak peeks <coughs> Excuse me, and um, just so you know, this this bundle t alone <coughs> is sixty dollars and twenty five cents. The bundle, which is the stamp set and the and the dies, so um, you would be able to, you would already earn. This is a fifty. The dazzling paper is a fifty dollar level reward, so you would be able to get that for free if you uh, got the bundle. <coughs> oh my goodness. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this this next sneak peek. These are on my blog uh, this morning. I'm so sorry. Um, so um, I hope you can visit my blog, lollipoppaperandink.com. And if you have any questions, you can leave me a comment on the blog or you can leave me a comment on the YouTube channel or email me. Okay, thank you so much for spending some time with me today and I hope to see you back with my next video tomorrow. Have a great day. Stay safe. Bye-bye.